Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. The Moon Boys are all hot and bothered by a little Bitcoin correction. What we have to understand here right now is that this correction was to be expected. If you didn't expect a pullback after Bitcoin climbed to a new all-time high, then I don't know exactly what you were expecting at all. A straight line to the upside? A straight line right to a million, Kirby! My friends, right now, the irrational exuberance inside this market is running amok. To me, it certainly feels like it could potentially be at an all-time high. And right now, what I want to do is strip all the emotion out of what's happening here. Take away all of the overly euphoric exuberance. What are we seeing in the chart here? Is it possible that the bull trend is in jeopardy? Or does this just look like another dip before a rip to a new all-time high? Let's dive in and analyze. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the Daily live stream. My friends, right now, we are going to get into the chart here on the daily time frame, and I'm going to keep it extremely simple. There are only several things that I'm looking at here. We don't have to convolute this with a ton of data and a ton of different indicators. There are just a few things I want to look at, which I'm personally examining right now to give myself the best perceived edge to potentially crush it and get this crypto. So let's begin right here on the one day time frame for Bitcoin. And of course, before we do begin, if you could smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for that. And if you are brand new, welcome to the most realistic Bitcoin technical analysis channel you are ever going to find. Hit that subscribe button, take the little bell, select all, and let's get this crypto. Welcome to the channel. So here we are, folks, right back inside the belly of the beast. Number one, the thing of concern here for me is the fact that Bitcoin right now has dropped below my upward sloping channel of parallel confluence, right? You could see that this channel dates all the way back into December of 2020. Right now, clearly, Bitcoin has dropped below here. And that in and of itself is inherently a little bit bearish for me. But, 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 there are some serious underlying ranges of possible support here, which I want to look at right now. Of course, we see this red line here, this red range, rather, this box, okay? Old resistance time and time and time again, which now, per classical technical analysis theory, upon testing down into it, could now possibly act as new support before looking to potentially test higher. And by higher, I mean possibly to a new all-time high. Okay, so we do have this horizontal range here. Now, the other key indicator that I'm looking at is the Keltner channel. Now, if you are subscribed to this channel, and I'm telling you, if you're not, you need to subscribe right now. Tick the little bell and select all so you do not miss any more of the most realistic Bitcoin analysis on YouTube, period. The Keltner channel here has not yet been broken with candle bodies, full candle bodies closing below it ever since our breakout down here at about 20,000. Rather, even below there. I kid you not below there. This is down here at about 10 to 12,000. We could see that after bouncing off the bottom of the band, the lowest that we've gone here on the Keltner, let's, let's just run through this. Very close to the bottom of the Keltner, continued the uptrend. Very close to the bottom of the Keltner, continued the uptrend, close to the bottom of the Keltner, continued the uptrend, dropped, stuck in a scary, scary double bottom. This at the time looked like the bull market could potentially be ending, but nah, nah, little James, the bottom of the Keltner, considering full candle bodies, sure, we wicked below it twice, right? Just wicks. Notice where we closed, though, the candle bodies. For a better visualization, let's actually switch over to the line chart, okay? The line chart only accounts for candle body closes, not wicks. So if we're looking at this from a close-only perspective, Bitcoin right now on this entire uptrend has loved to respect the bottom of the Keltner channel on the one-day time frame. The time frame is very uh, important, right? This is not across all time frames. It's the daily only. Right now, Bitcoin, if we go back to the candlestick chart, I just want to show you, we are flirting within the range here of the bottom of the Keltner channel. And you can actually see that our last test down to the bottom of the Keltner resulted in a wick 
and a rip to a new all-time high. Of course, past performance does not indicate future results, and what's happened thus far does not have to continue to happen moving forward. But what I'm showing you right now is that even though we have lost the support of this upward sloping parallel channel, which I've loved to follow, we do have this horizontal line of potential support based upon old resistance. We do also have the underlying support here, at least potential support, of the Keltner channel, which throughout this whole bullish breakout from roughly 10,000 plus has never closed full candle bodies below that indicator line. Keep an eye on this. If we start to close candle bodies below the one-day Keltner channel, my friends, things could get ugly. Whereas, quite the opposite, if we continue to close full candle bodies above here, my friends, we could just be looking at quite possibly another healthy dip before a rip to a new all-time high. And if you are appreciating me showing you this thus far, please, that thumbs up would be so greatly appreciated. Thank you for that. If you're brand new, you see what you get. Welcome to the most realistic Bitcoin technical analysis channel you're ever going to find. Hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, and select all so you do not miss any more of these important Bitcoin and crypto analyses. So right now, in terms of, you know, what I'm looking for here, right, we do have to understand several things. In terms of where we could potentially be at in this market cycle, my friends, let's just look here at the Wall Street cheat sheet real quick, okay? For me, I do think it's possible that we are within the thrill to euphoria stage, which is right at the end of the bull market, essentially. Now, it's too early to make any type of call, right? Technical analysis is not about making calls. It's not about predicting the future, right? Kirby, you said, no, I didn't say, Stunod. What I showed is the probability of what I perceive to be either potential further downside action or potential further upside action. There is no calling here, okay? Nobody can possibly forecast exactly what's going to happen with Bitcoin. If someone is proclaiming that, they are literally living in a fantasy world. What technical analysis is aiming to do is take the chart into consideration and find perceived edges in the market that give ourselves the best perceived edge to potentially crush it and get this crypto. And what I'm looking at right now in terms of the Wall Street cheat sheet psychology of a market cycle is that we could be nearing the top of a cycle. I don't want to say that we have to be, but what I'm saying is that we could be, right? And if that is in fact the case, you know, I need to remain wary here, folks, right? And I always need to understand that maybe we could be due for a large, large correction. And that's why for me, the Keltner channel right here, right now is so important. And the reason for that is because if we fall below the one day Keltner channel and close full candle bodies below it and possibly below this horizontal range of potential support, that would be fundamentally and technically different than what we have seen all the way up thus far, right? Which then switches the probability. If the probability has been to the upside, right? A higher probability for continued upside action while full candle bodies close above the one day Keltner. Well, if we start to close full candle bodies below the one day Keltner, that to me switches the perceived probability. At that point, it becomes a higher probability for uh, considerable lower price action, right? Considerably lower price action. Um, and that's how I see it. So right now, um, I'm just watching this market like a hawk with an eagle eye. I see that we are potentially here on the brink of an explosive move. This could just be another healthy dip here before a rip, right? Because this is basically what we saw last time. We bounced, or rather dumped, all the way down to the bottom of the one-day Keltner, bounced to a new all-time high. Same, uh, the one before that, dropped down to the bottom of the one-day Keltner, closed full candle bodies right on top of it, even though we did wick below it twice, ripped to a new all-time high. Same back here, same back here. So right now, just, you know, keep, keep your emotions at bay here, folks. Um, there's really not all too much to look at. This has been an incredibly difficult 
uh, area to trade. In my opinion, I personally have not been putting on too many trades here at this point in time. I did take even one little long trade up in here. It started to drop. I exited. Uh, and right now I'm looking to potentially reposition myself to potentially crush it and get this crypto. So right now, if you are interested in seeing how I'll personally be looking to set up my trade setup ideas here for that next move, however it breaks, whether it's down or up, my friends, I will keep you personally updated in VIP with all of my exclusive trade setup ideas, entry ideas, potential take profit ideas, as the Don looks to potentially strike gold again. My friends, right now, I'm telling you, that the euphoria in this space is running high. Things like NFTs are running amok in this space right now. Just think about it. I know that if you're in this space, you, you know what I'm talking about. That's why I don't feel the need to just uh, post all of these little news stories for you. Uh, do this, do that to try and hype you up on this market. I'm not a hype man, my friends. I'm not here to just uh, pump all of the latest news stories and tell you why to be bullish, bullish, bullish. I'm here to look at the chart. Whatever the chart is showing me is what I'm going to show you. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's get this crypto. My friends, I hope you have enjoyed here today. That thumbs up would be so greatly appreciated. Thank you. That subscribe button, tick the little bell and select all so you do not miss any more of these Bitcoin and crypto analyses. Thank you for that. And uh, you guys can probably tell, but yes, I am still under the weather I have almost fixed all of my hardware issues. It's it's several of them. I don't know what's really happened here, folks. I had like a, a cascading effect of multiple things not working uh, properly with my setup here, but I'm slowly getting it fixed. I'm slowly here recovering myself as well, and I'm going to continue to stay on the grind and continue to potentially crush this market and get this crypto. So my friends... On that note, I hope you have enjoyed here. I will see you in VIP right now after this video. If you're not already in my VIP, then my friends, today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP right now after this video as the Don looks to potentially strike gold again. Leave me a comment. Will Bitcoin wind up holding support here right around this level of 51,000 at the bottom of the one day Keltner channel? Will it possibly hold support down around 49,000 at the bottom of the horizontal resistance range? Or my friends, will we possibly be due for a decline deep down into the crypto abyss? Leave me a comment as well. Thank you for that. My friends, I will see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, my friends, the Don has spoken. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and beware of the fake Kirby imposters down in the comment section. I will never post a phone number on your comment. I will never send you any type of unsolicited email. That is not me. You can see the two examples down below. They have the same name as me, but they're posting phone numbers. They're using very weird typing to get around the spam filter. That is not me. This is an example of my real comment here. You can see the nameplate has a gray background to it, and I do leave a creator heart next to the thumbs up. So you can validate that that is me. I generally only post the VIP information in a pinned comment, so you know that is me there. My friends, don't fall for any of the fakes. Be smart. Be safe. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments. Nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives. Of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.